Hi all and welcome back to the channel and I hope you're all doing okay. Right, I've got a couple of things for you today and I'm going to start off with somebody I've never mentioned on my channel before that I can remember and that is Eddie Jordan. So I'm going to start off with him. So Eddie Jordan believes Alpine were too hasty in letting Otmar Safnauer go amid the team's struggles at the start of 2024. Safnauer had previous experience at Honda and Aston Martin before joining Alpine but was sacked last year. His exit caused a wave of others joining him and Jordan is convinced Alpine will now be regretting that decision. Jordan said, I think that they got rid of Otmar at Alpine prematurely. I think that was a mistake. I think he's a talented person who certainly knew how to keep that team in the right direction. The results they had very soon after they let him go were indicative of somebody who had left a platform of a style of management that they could embrace and I actually agree with him there because I think the team did seem to run better under under Safnauer and to be honest they've gone backwards since um, they got rid of him and sticking with Eddie Jordan because he also thinks that Lewis Hamilton already looks dejected in his final year at Mercedes. Hamilton has had a tough start to 2024 in the W15 and Jordan said Lewis I think is a bit dejected already with the state of Mercedes. It's the same as last year, isn't it? It started poorly. It's very hard to catch up when you've got somebody like Max Verstappen, who has 51 points on the board or something like that already. I mean, it's just ridiculous. How is Mercedes going to compete? The problem for all the competitors is that other than Ferrari, I cannot see anyone making a serious challenge to this Red Bull team. And it's funny because if you look at the figures from last year and this year after two races in 2023 mercedes were on 38 points 2024 they're only on 26 so with a completely redesigned car they've gone further backwards and i i don't understand what has gone wrong with that team there's something they can't get right on that car what it is i don't know i don't even think they know but anyway moving on to fred Vasseur, but sticking with lewis hamilton um fred Vasseur believes Lewis Hamilton will bring a different vision to the team when he joins Ferrari next year. Ferrari is F1's most successful team with 16 constructors titles, but they haven't won a championship since 2008. Vasseur hopes the arrival of Hamilton can change that. He said, what he will bring is that he is the only seven-time world champion on the grid today, that he will come with not only the speed into the car and the technical approach, but he will also bring a different vision of the team. But it's important for me to have a kind of mix of future and he will come with this experience and for sure it's an added value. And sticking with Mercedes, team principal Toto Wolff has said that Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko could join in the mascot role left vacant after the passing of non-executive director Nicky Lauda. It followed uncertainty over Marco's Red Bull future amid his suspension earlier this month. However, Marco's future has settled for now and Marco has spoken on Wolf's offer. He said, That is a very long time for Stappen's contract until 2028. I was really thankful for how loyal Max was. I was impressed. We are not going to Mercedes together at the moment. And that's quite interesting, isn't it? That play on words at the end there at the moment i mean is that some sort of comment that's aimed towards christian horner or is it just to keep the media guessing i don't know but i did like that i thought that was quite funny but to be fair what do you think do you actually think that you're going to see max verstappen and potentially helmet marco at mercedes in the future or the not too distant future i don't know i i can't work this one out it's a very very odd one but i suppose only time is going to tell with that one so Anyway, that's all i got for you at the moment. Um, I'm still digging around for more content. So, of course, if you do like what I do, please consider liking my videos and subscribing to my channel. Of course, as, as always, a massive thank you to you for subscribing already, for liking, commenting and sharing my videos. I really and truly do appreciate it. Again, like I said last time, I'm a little bit slow getting back to replying to you, but I will get there. I promise I will get there. So until the next time, take care.